Hello everyone, welcome back to Shortcode, and welcome to the first video in the Intermediate Python programming series. In this series, we will be learning about object-oriented programming. Now, what is object-oriented programming? Well, with object-oriented programming, we write our code as if we are creating things in real life. Everything around you is an object, and every one of those objects has properties and things that they can do. In object-oriented programming, we can create objects that have properties. These are called attributes, and they are like variables, but part of object-oriented programming. And we can also create objects that have things to do, and these are called methods, and they are like functions. When we weren't using object-oriented programming, we were using procedural programming. This is where data is just data, and it doesn't have any objects, it is just pure numbers, variables, and functions. With object-oriented programming, we are turning that data into objects. Now let's get right into some programming. So, with object-oriented programming, we have classes and instances. And you can think of classes as a blueprint, and an instance as an actual object that has been built using the blueprint. So let's create a class. So, to do this, we'll write class, and then we'll have a class as our house. So, class house. And then under this we'll just pass, which just tells Python we want to skip the house. Okay, now we have our class, we should create an instance of the class. So now we are building the physical object from the blueprint. So to do this we should write house equals house. And this is the class name with two parentheses afterward, after it. This could be whatever you want, we could have it as whatever, but I'm just going to call it house1 equals how a house object. Now let's add some attributes to our instance. So to do this we can do house1 dot I don't know house1 dot doors equals let's have two doors house1 dot windows equals four windows and house1 dot floors equals two floors. Okay and now let's print them out. So print house1 dot doors and Let's also print out house1.windows, and finally let's print out house1.floors. And by the way, I am using Sublime Text as my code editor. You, ca you can use idle, it doesn't matter what code editor you use, as long as it runs Python it'll do fine. So if we run this, we can see we get 2, 4, and 2, so we're printing out doors, we've got 2 doors, 4 windows, and 2 floors. So this is how we create attributes for the instance. We do dot the attribute name. Now at the moment object-oriented programming seems a little bit useless and ineffective. To create all the attributes we're having to go through them all over and over again and we're not getting any functionality out of this class. So next video we'll be looking at attributes and methods in more detail and we'll also be looking at the initialize method and that means we can pass values automatically to the instance without having to set each individual attribute like this. And this is a lot more effective so make sure you stay tuned for that. Okay thanks for watching the video guys, if you have any questions or comments be sure to leave them down below, I will always reply to you. If you'd like to support me all you have to do is give this video a like, it really does help me out. Also be sure to share this video with anyone who you think would find it useful. Make sure to subscribe so you won't miss out on future Python programming tutorials I upload every day. That's it from me, cheers and goodbye.